Sorry. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, we know that show. I think we do. Cowboy yeah. Bebop. Yeah, I've Cowboy heard of that. Bebop? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I, I know we've got tattoo and everything related yes. to it. Like, yes. That right there is bang. That's the final word from the series Sweet. that Spike yeah. says. So I had to wear it on my sleeve. Proudly. <laughs> <laughs> like your heart. Exactly. Uh, did yes. you two not meet there as well? We did. We it did. was my first uh, job directing a series. And... Uh, and it was Steve's first uh, leading role, leading I role. think. Yeah. yeah. I was terrified through the entire thing. So was I. It was amazing. Yeah. There was a room full of people that did not know what they were doing. And out of that came uh, something that we're all really proud of. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, we had time and, and a level of care that we were able to um, put into that show. Yeah. Which uh, kind of set the bar high for us because no, most shows don't work that way. Yeah. And most shows don't have, I mean, that animation and that what was given to us was so glorious from, from Watanabe-san and Toshihiro Kawamoto-san and, and then from Yoko Kano, the music, the, the character designer and the director. It was so exquisite. And I just remember thinking, one, why would they give this to me? And two, um, it's just how are we not going to mess this up? Because that's really the key when you're given something that great is to not get in its way, you know? and let the story come out. And what was great about it, for the first time, for me actually seeing an anime, it was such a westernized show from the beginning. It was really sort of made for American audiences, and uh, or for Western audiences, it seemed to me. It was sort of a love letter to a, a filmmaking and, and, uh, and acting a certain style and uh, sort of Bruce Lee sort of feel uh, and these these great movies that were made in the past and science fiction and black exploitation movies and it was a, sort of a love letter to the film genre you know and uh, it was amazing to be able to bring these characters to life. I just remember seeing it for the first time seeing the footage for the first time and hearing the music and thinking this is the best thing I've ever worked on and maybe the best thing I will ever work on. Yeah. And the fear started taking over and especially because I was the lead character in this thing that it was a big responsibility and I, I thought if anybody ever sees this I really want this to be good and I don't know how because I, I felt like I didn't really know how to act. I, I, I wasn't a trained actor. You didn't consider yourself an actor at that point. Did I didn't consider myself an actor. Oh, you've heard this, yeah. I, I did not consider myself an actor, and it wasn't until I think uh, years later we had completed it, and we were at a convention, I think. Yeah. And uh, we were, I don't know if we were doing an interview or a panel or something, but uh, we were talking about the acting process on Cowboy Bebop. And I remember saying that I, I didn't feel uh, like I was qualified for the job because I wasn't a real actor, because I hadn't studied acting, I hadn't done theater, I hadn't done films or TV. I wasn't a real actor, and everybody else I knew was. And Mary, I'm so mad she, at was, him. she got like, really you mad. Say that one more time, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. Well, it was, it was, she did say that. <laughs> I did. And she also said, what do you think you've been doing all this time? Yeah. She goes, you're acting, you're an actor. Yeah. And I had to take that in, and it was very difficult for me to swallow that. And uh, once I did, though, I think it, it started shifting things for me, and I, I felt a little more at ease when I would go in, especially on really good projects. Uh, but I remember for the first five, six episodes of Cowboy Bebop, I literally thought I was going to soil myself. <laughs> I, had the terror, I was just terrified yeah. of, of screwing it up. Yeah. But she's such a, a great director, too, even from those days. <clears throat> I know that you were new to directing, <laughs> but she's also uh, a trained actor and an excellent actor. And so she has this way of dealing with actors to make everyone in the room feel very comfortable. And even... Cattle prods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that helps. That helps. Mm -hmm. But but you made me feel comfortable. Tomatoes, old lettuce. She, <laughs> you know, she would... <laughs> yes, that works too, dear. But <laughs> she, would <laughs> she would find ways of making me feel comfortable and natural in the room. And, yeah. and there were a lot of scenes, for instance, when uh, Spike was smoking. I had stopped smoking many years before, and to get an auth authenticity to those scenes, she would hand me a cigarette and actually put it in my mouth. And so when you'd see him going on the cigarette, and it's blowing different because it he would be doing it with a pencil, and I was like, it's not the same sound, it's not the same weight, and it changes. I, I'm kind of a method actor. It does change the performance a little bit. It definitely changes the sound, but it's just you know, and you you there's a different when you talk with a cigarette in your mouth. It sounds different 
it has a lighter weight than if you talk with a pencil in your mouth. So yeah. I'm like, oh, just take a cigarette, you know, and just put it in your mouth and we'll just do this. Mm. But those little things, those little nuances uh, helped me to feel more comfortable and more natural doing it. And I, I was so um, honored that she would give up one of her precious cigarettes for me to do that. <laughs> they were cheap back I, then. <laughs> I know, but I tried to save them. I, I remember I this. I tried to save them <laughs> back then before we had the, the phones that, that you can carry all of your information in. I had one of these big leather bound books with my schedule and everything. And I would carefully put the cigarette into the, the folder knowing that I was going to be coming back for another show. I would come back for the next episode. I would open it up to where I knew the cigarette was in there. And it was just leaves just yeah. falling out. And I, I went, oh, my God, I have to ask her for another one now. <laughs> and she was so sweet about it back then. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you for gently guiding me into that world. My pleasure. Well, that can affect an actor's performance too. If, yeah. And it's you find that sweet spot sometimes, and it's a magical moment, and it's just it's an inspiration that can go away just as fast as it came. Yeah. And if there's a technical glitch.